friends, welcome back to my channel and a special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and I'm on WW Personal Points. Happy Saturday friends, it's Saturday so it's grocery haul day. I went to Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store and picked up some really good food, some new foods. I'll talk all about it in my grocery haul. So if you're excited, give this video a huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on so you never miss a grocery haul or any other video. Check out that description box down below for nutrition coaching. I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly, highly, highly recommend. And I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching if you would like to chat with me directly. Directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and don't forget to come on over, join us on Facebook. All of that is down in the description box for you. So let's jump in to my grocery haul. So here's my grocery haul for the week. Some more new food finds, which I'm pretty excited about. And I'm introducing some new foods into my diet that my doctor and I have discussed. So I'm going to share, so I'm going to share with you some new things that I'm implementing. So let me show you what's in my grocery haul. I have been craving the Quest Loaded Taco Chips. Now these are much less expensive on Nutrition, which is the same website that I order Fiber Gourmet Pasta, but I don't need pasta right now. So I decided to just go ahead and grab these at Fred Meyer. I did shop at Fred Meyer, which is a Kroger store. There's only four bags in here and it was $8.50. I think you can get a whole case for about $27, but I've been craving these and these have 19 grams of protein. They're low carb. They're only four net carbs and I think five full carbs five total carbs. So a really good option for a crunchy snack. This is something new that I'm reintroducing. My doctor okayed me to add a few healthier chip options back in. So I'm starting with Quest loaded taco. I also love the Siete brand and this is the dairy free ranch. These have the cleanest ingredients and they are so delicious. Here are your ingredients. You can pronounce everything. There's not a huge ingredient list. There's nothing artificial or preservatives. There are 130 calories per serving. So I grab these to have as a crunchy snack. I will most likely pair these with something with protein. So maybe hummus in these chips or maybe I'll do these chips and a meat stick or something like that. But I'm excited to have Siete back in my life. I picked, I decided to get the off the bone black forest ham from private selection. This is such high quality deli meat. And I like to have deli meat on hand all the time because it's a great source of protein. It's an easy breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack. So I grabbed that. I had to pick up these Hempler's pepperoni sticks. They're local here to my area. They were $5. Troy loves pepperoni sticks and he is on vacation this next week. So I wanted to make sure that I grabbed something that he could easily grab and go and snack on. So you guys, shared with you a snack -a palooza and some of my little protein snacks that I picked up. This was delicious. This was actually a meal replacement for me. I was showing houses, so I ate this for lunch. It has 19 grams of protein, 250 calories. It is a cheese stick, a hard boiled egg, and some salami, and it's really, really delicious. So I picked up another one. And then I shared these as well. Last time I picked up the salami one, and this time I grabbed the Genoa salami one as well. These are amazing. They are such a great snack. It's two slices of meat wrapped around two really good, yummy tasting smoked cheddar cheese sticks. So I grabbed those, a great snack option and something that is really easy and portable. We needed some more kitchen sponges and honestly, I didn't know Dawn made sponges. These were on sale, it's a three pack. Two cans of Healthy Request cream of chicken soup. This is for a tater tot pot pie recipe that I'm making. Doesn't that sound really good? I picked up a few other things for that recipe, so I'll show you those, but two cans of the cream of chicken soup. I'm making baked tacos this next week. That is one of mine and Troy's favorite dinners. There is something about baking the tacos that makes them better than regular tacos. So I did grab the stand and stuff shells. These are the easiest ones for me to work with for that recipe. Dijon mustard. This is for a dinner recipe. I'm making a mustard chicken tender. I'll share that with you guys after the grocery haul, what I'm doing for dinners, but I needed some Dijon mustard for that. A pound of pork sausage. I am making a pasta recipe, mainly for Troy. It's not really something that I can have, but he asked for a really good pasta recipe, mainly to eat his lunches and things 
things while well, he's on vacation. So I grabbed some sage pork sausage for that. Some fully cooked bacon for my lunch meal prep. It only called for a few slices and I didn't want to cook an entire pack of bacon. So this just makes it super easy. Reduced fat buttermilk for a recipe as well. I was out of mints in my purse and I don't know why, but small Altoids wintergreen sounded pretty good. So I picked those up. A ranch seasoning packet. I'm going to try something a little bit different for lunch and I'll be sharing that with you in this Wednesday's what I eat in a day. So stay tuned, but I needed a ranch packet for that. I saw this and I couldn't pass it up. It looks so good. Shrimp cocktail with cocktail sauce and fresh lemon only five dollars i thought that was a pretty good deal i think troy and i are going to snack on this this afternoon reduced fat mexican style cheese i need lots of shredded cheese for my dinner recipes and my meal prep this next week a couple of fun snack finds i was going to buy a new container of peanut butter and then i saw these and i thought that these would be great again on the go they're pre-portioned out or for a really easy snack the wild friends peanut butter is so incredibly delicious and they had the chocolate coconut peanut butter. So I had to pick that up. It's 180 calories for the pack, which is basically two tablespoons of peanut butter. And they also had the Barney brand, the smooth almond butter. This one's only 90 calories. So I picked that up as well. And I thought that these would just be really easy, pre-portioned out nut butter. Another new food I am trying out is some carb balance or low carb tortillas. I grabbed them the mission ones because they're only 70 calories and they only have four net carbs and they're high in fiber and fiber is something I absolutely track. So I'm going to try these. We'll see how they sit with my stomach. We'll see how they kind of affect me overall, but I'm excited to maybe bring tortillas back. I actually made Parmesan cheese and I saw this and it was on sale. The private selection brand is a Kroger brand, but it's kind of their fancy brand and everything from them is so good, but usually kind of expensive. And they had this Italian blend. It's Parmesan Romano and Asiago. So I picked this up instead of just regular Parmesan cheese because I thought that sounded really good. Big bag of tater tots. This is for that tater tot pot pie recipe. Produce. I have a huge bag of mixed vegetables. That pot pie recipe actually calls for quite a bit. I just picked up the larger bag because it was less expensive than buying two smaller bags. A couple of bananas. This is for my meal prep. Some jalapenos for my meal prep. I know. Who am I buying jalapenos? when I don't even like spicy food, but I'm hoping this recipe turns out really good. I also needed a couple of tomatoes, some shredded lettuce, and I was really excited to see shredded green leaf lettuce. This just has more nutritional value than iceberg, and the iceberg shredded lettuce for me goes bad so fast. So I was excited to see this because I think that this will definitely last longer. And then some organic basil because I need fresh basil for several recipes. So that is this week's grocery haul. So let's go ahead and jump in to what I'm doing for dinners, what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So here is what is on my menu for the week. Today, Saturday, we go out for dinner. Tomorrow, Sunday, I'm making honey mustard chicken tenders. You guys will see this recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Monday is Italian sausage pasta. This is mainly for Troy. I'm probably going to have leftover of the chicken tenders. Leftovers on Tuesday. Wednesday is when I'm doing that tater tot chicken pot pie casserole. Thursday is baked tacos and Friday is another leftover night. And here's what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. So for breakfast this next week, I am making an omelet with cottage cheese and basil. Doesn't that sound so good? I'm actually really excited about that. Lunch is jalapeno popper casserole. I may regret this, but I'm hoping that it's not too spicy for me. Just lots and lots of flavor. And then for a snack, I'm making protein cookies. I loved my protein balls last week. They have been such a great snack. So I'm going to make some healthy protein cookies. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW Grocery Haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the new foods that I'm introducing in, some snacks that I've been loving, some new snacks, my meal plan, and of course, what you'll be seeing on Monday for meal prep. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel and subscribe if you're not, I would love to have you here. Check out that description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and also come on over, join us on Facebook. Happy Saturday, friends, happy weekend, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Bye.